Hello and welcome. I am Scrapperlock and this is City of Heroes on the Rebirth server. We are with Quintessence Lass, our level 19 brute who has 121,000 experience, 5,000 to go to get to level 20 and a million influence again because I sold some things and we are ready to go. So we have a mission coming from our contact. I don't know if this is the Dr. Vajalok mission or not, because I don't remember. But she says, now that Dr. Vajalok has a sample of the antidote, it's only a matter of time before he can modify the virus and undo our work. However, I've analyzed the data, and I think I have a very viable candidate for ground zero of this entire outbreak. I'd like you to go down to the sewers and incinerate every last body you find. If you can manage this, Quintessence Lass, it'll put an end to Vajalok's plague forever. Be very careful about Vajalok himself and knows about your plans. So I think we might be phasing him. We've got some clockworks that we can throw down there to aggro him. We've got our um, a, a good tray. I just came over here to get a good tray of um, inspiration. So I think we've got what we need to face Vajalok. I really don't fear him. He is an elite boss. We fought them before with this character at a lower level and she's pretty good now we've got some good powers and abilities and if we need them we do have some emergency defenses like um, offense amplifier defensive amplifier survival amplifiers and stuff from our reward merits I'd prefer not to use those and rather you know defeat him clean but if necessary if necessary we can resort to those. I think I would resort to those if I lose once and I have to, you know, go back after a hospital run, then I would probably buy whatever inspirations I need left and then activate some of those. All right, so let's head to King's Row and we're going to see if we can kick Vajalok's butt. This should get us to level 20 if it's the end of the story arc. Plus beating an elite boss get you a lot of XP as well. Now, as I've said before, I always, I almost always, don't always remember to, but I usually click select task to uh, make this asterisk red instead of yellow. You actually don't need to do that by yourself. It mostly helps when you're with a group, and you definitely don't need to do it if it's the only mission you have. However, if you have multiple missions, it can sometimes just be helpful to, um, to select that. And I, I just... I'm just so used to selecting it from years and years of playing this game that I almost always do, even though it's really not necessary when you're playing solo and you only have one mission at a time. All right, so here we are. We have four bodies remaining, and then if we can fight Vajalok, we will. And there is the leech. That's a boss. Well, interesting. Okay. He's got an abomination with him. I'm not too concerned about the abomination. We're going to have to use one of these, I think. And we'll go get him. Try not to use anything else. I'm going to try to hit him really hard, really fast. Okay, buddy. What you're getting is the dark treatment that you give everybody else. So you're going to have a hard time hitting me. But the Abomination's not. Let's see if we can hit the Abomination. Oh, he's going to blow up. Hang on. No, he didn't. Let's see if we can hit the Abomination too. Oh, darn. He healed himself. That was dumb. So I was trying to get away from the explosion, and uh, that gave him a chance to heal himself, which is unfortunate. Oh, well, that gave us plus accuracy, so that's good. And now Leech is going to be dead. And we got plus damage, which is fine. So I hear a glowy. There's a body up here. Don't remember if this is where they always are. I think usually there are multiple, like, 8 or 10 spawn points in a mission like this. And the bodies, or the glowies, will be in a random selection of the four of the randomly chosen of the eight. Right? You'll, you should see here now that we don't have to do as much pulling... Unless we miss a lot. We don't have to do a lot, as much pulling as we had to because um, we're no longer dying from our endurance being so low and our health being so low. Get a good enhancement. Oh, we got something we might be able to use. We'll take a look at that after the fight's over. 
think there were some guys up above too, no? Oh, maybe I was wrong. I thought there was a guy up here. But I guess not. Alright, let's take a look. This is uh, defense buffs. Okay, well we could go ahead and join that to one of these. That's good. Yeah, I, I will say about this, I really wish. Injured Diffusion Modifier, that tells you nothing. So then you have to look underneath to see whether it enhances defense or whether it enhances um, resistance. There are so many different names for them. I, I really, as much as I appreciate that they were trying to make them thematic, I really wish they had just called it defense or at least somehow done something other than just purple because there are different purples in the game. Right, both resistance and defense are purple. Well, let's see how many guys we can catch in this dark melee. Was that two? That's not too many. Let's see how many we can catch in the dark consumption. There we go. That's a nice one. Is that one guy gonna blow up? No. All right, well, let's try to hit this guy. And I didn't get enough of them in that. It's unfortunate. Wow. There we go. Took out two guys at once. Killed two corpses with one stone. Or re-killed, I guess. Wow. Still a lot of damage. When there are four of them, it is very hard at this level to deal with that. Four of something else, not so bad. But four, um, four Vajaloks are pretty tough. I don't know why this thing... I keep needing to slide it around to get it to allow me to click on this. The other items in the other slots don't seem to care. But that last slot, it's a problem, and I don't know why. And the weird part is that happened to me on, I think it was Tiger Strike as well. But as soon as I moved this, it never did it to me again. So I don't know what's going on with that. It just doesn't want to let me click on it. Okay, so we just need to go straight here. And we will dive in and hit this Mortificator. Man, they hit so much. Now that, of course, the reason that one hits is because it is toxic, and I don't think I have any toxic defense to speak of. Yeah, I didn't even bother to put it up there because we really don't have much. We can take a look in our combat attributes at our defense. Toxic. We, does it not even exist? There's psionic, kinetic, fire, lethal, smashing, AoE. Yeah, there's. it just doesn't even exist, toxic defense. Wow. So yeah, we have no defense against that. And there's another body. And a whole bunch of other guys. So let's start with this Reaper. We're going to definitely have to do some pulling with all the yellows in here and with the fact that against the Toxic we have no defense. This is not something that I had to deal with with uh, Silver Phoenix, by the way, because um, ouch, Silver Phoenix had just ranged and melee defense. Um, so if this thing was either ranged or melee, so she had defense against it one way or the other. But wow... See if we can hit all these guys. Wow, that is just brutal. They are unbelievably difficult at this level. And it's not the Reapers. It's the Abominations. Because they can just do so much damage. And they seem to hit. They seem to be so accurate. And I don't even think it's just that, yeah, we don't have defense against the Toxic. But they even hit me more than, you know, I think Nightmare Last get, uh, used to get hit and she had no defense at all. 
they just constantly hit you. And they even hit with their backhands, which is smashing. And I have a lot of defense against that. Right? I mean, I have 18% defense, which means they're at like 32 to hit. And they still seem to hit me an awful lot. We can take a look at that. Abomination hits you with projectile upon it. They only have a 47% chance to hit me. But they seem like they hit every single time. So let's make them run at me. This at least gives the DOT time to wear off the d damage over time. And now without a Reaper, they shouldn't be quite as smart. Look at that. One hit takes me down half a health bar. So that's the problem. They're accurate, and they do a massive amount of damage. And they are the sorts of bad guys who... Like, literally one miss can be the difference between life and death with these guys. But we are very close to leveling at this point. So let's see what's over here. So that's a dead end. Now we got some more babies over here. Can we pull one? And of course we get hit. Because why should they miss? 52% chance and he rolled a 44, yep. Yeah. But that should separate him out. Hit again. Hit again. Three times in a row. I think we should be all right, because we're going to go in with... Oh, wait, there are three of them? No, no. I thought there were two. With the three of them standing together, yeah, that's too much. There we go. And we are one bead from level 20, which means we will definitely level in this mission. Look at that. Two hits in a row. Three hits. Finally missed me. And hit me again. So we're going to need to rest again. This is nuts. Think about how many times I've taken a knee. In all the missions I've done before these last two Vajalok missions. These last two Vajalok missions I've taken probably three or four times as many knees as all the other knees I've taken. I mean, I almost... I don't even think I remember to put the rest up there for the first few levels. And I hardly ever use it. Except against the Vajalok. And if you go back and watch... Oops. If you go back and watch Silver Phoenix, you will see that the same thing happened to her. trying to get away from Mr. Explode. But no, he didn't he didn't blow up yet. Back up. Alright, well we got him. More enhancements. Oh, there's an accuracy. Is this not an accuracy? What's going on? It's mutation science, right? Oh, to hit buff. Never mind. I thought it was accuracy. Alright, we're going to have to pull.
Another hit. Another hit. Yep, they just practically auto hit with that vomit. It's 50% chance, but that essentially means seems to mean auto hit. Three in a row they hit me with. Four in a row with a 50-50 chance to hit. Right? Roll 27, roll to six. Meanwhile, I needed a streak power streak breaker to hit him. That's just nuts. Why is that guy targeting through the wall? That's weird. It's really funny with this game. It seems like when I have 50% chance to hit, I constantly whiff. And when they have 50% chance to hit, look at them. Hitting me over and over and over again. Alright. What's next? Another Reaper and more yellows. You coming? Even these Reapers are pretty slow on the draw. Oh, here he comes. Missed again. Is he going to blow up? Yep. Hit me. He hit me again. They just hit all the time with that vomit. Oh, it finally missed. And hit me again. Wow. Okay, let's get a little resistance here. Come on. See if we can at least beat the Mortificator and then I'll run a little bit if I have to. Hate running. Now we should be alright. Okay. Still gotta find a couple of bodies. Okay, so these are dead ends. Wasn't there a spot up here? I suspect Vajalok's down this way, so let's just head up and make sure that we've cleared this area. And this is gonna be another one mission episode, I guess, guys, because these Vajaloks just take a really long time to, to take out. <laughs> <clears throat> Maybe not. How big is this map? Uh, we got a little ways to go. Depends on how far it bound, bends around. Okay, I thought maybe this was it, but it's not. And so more pulling. I just cannot... I just cannot take all of that. Look at that. Two hits in a row again. I can barely stand up to two guys. There's no way I can go in against four. It really is interesting how dramatic, much dramatically harder these guys are than just about anybody else. And I said at one point that I thought, you know, that it was just they have the SR Scrapper's weakness. And I think they do in the sense that, you know, they, they hit so hard and you don't have any heals or anything. But I think beyond that, they're just brutal. Even doing negative damage to them just takes so long to take them out and they do so much damage. And um, 
I think I even struggled against them with uh, Liberty last because she was super strength. So these guys have a lot of characters' weaknesses, in a sense. Hit me again. Did they ever miss with that vomit? Oh, well, that was an unsuccessful pull. Double hit. Finally missed. Yeah, the self-heal and the uh, negative damage, and I'm still struggling to survive against these guys compared to anything else. The only thing that's harder than the Vajalox are Orange, Lieutenant, Nervous Spectral Demons. Which way do we go here? Not sure. I guess this way. Oh, you missed, finally. But then he hits me with his punch. Oh, and by the way, they're hitting me that much while I'm debuffing them with my negative attacks. So they're having their two hit massively debuffed. And they're still hitting me like that. Alright, they get hit three times. They're on like minus 15 to hit. And there is Vajalok. We're definitely going to have to pull through that room that he's in. There's no question about that. We cannot face him and all his minions at once. I can barely face two or three of his minions at once. So he's up there. So we're going to have to pull these guys. Oh, we got some guys over here. So we're going to have to pull these guys and sort of surgically remove them little by little from the room. Stopping to rest when necessary. Back up, back up, back up. He's going to blow up. I don't know. He didn't. Yeah, one of the things that can really get you is you get caught in that shadow mall while they're trying to blow up, and they will blow up, and you cannot move. A lot of people don't like getting caught in animations like that, but I don't mind it because the animation is so freaking awesome. You guys all know how I feel about that power. Okay, missed, but that's okay. It'll still pull. You coming? Be very careful here. We don't want Vajalok to see us. So this requires some patience. And just slow, bit by bit. Smacking around to these guys. Right, we just we can't hit this guy, and we got to watch out for him. I think we can do the rest of them without too much trouble. And there are the last bodies. Is he coming? Come on. And of course he hit me. Because they always hit. I'm 
trying not to have Audra Lock see me. Come on. Come on. You can do it. There you go. Good boy. Hit me again. Now, one of the issues we have, it's 63 per one of these, 259. So the fifth guy we defeat is going to get us the level up buff. So we have to watch out here because we want to see if maybe we can level up and then go after Vaj. That would be ideal. We go after him, just like level up and then hit him. Right? He'll get his butt kicked. Because we'll have all the level up buffs and he will not be able to do anything to me at that point. We'll crush him. But I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. Depends on how many more guys there are in the room. So I'm going to actually keep a very careful eye on this. 202. So four more guys will do it. What do we have here? Four guys. And then we have more guys back here, so we're not going to be able to do it that way. We might be able to ignore these guys. I don't know if they're going to come if we aggro him. Well, you know, all we can do is try it and see. What I'm going to do is go around the other side and take those three guys. And then my plan is to aggro and kill this guy get the level up buff, and then fight him with the level up buff. But we'll just have to see how it goes. Make him come over to me. Oh yeah, the embalmed cadaver isn't going to be worth any XP. I don't think. Why is the reaper not coming after me? Yeah, he's, he's a great con, so he's not going to be worth anything. So this is only going to be two guys. Another miss. Yeah, so that guy is not going to be enough. He's only going to be about 60 XP. No, go away. Um, and we need 82. So it's not going to be enough. So I guess we're going to have to do the level up buff and then go after him while it's still like partially in effect. Oh wait, let's take the see if we can separate this guy out. If I can take him without bringing the other guys over... We could level up on this cadaver that embalmed and then take Vajalok. We are so close, guys. I'm going to try it and we'll see what happens. There is the possibility that Vajalok could bring all of these guys and that would suck. But the level up buff is making me very... It's, it's very tantalizing to me, let's put it that way. <clears throat> so we're going to need some inspirations to start this. We'll, we'll start with that. And we're going to come in and hit that guy and try to pull him back. And we'll see... Vajalak's going to come, I think... right now. Maybe not. Fine, stay there. Let me level up, buddy. And I just leveled up. Now we're going after Vajalok. 
with our level up buffs. And I still can't hit him. That's ridiculous. He's floored, basically. Yeah, he has no chance. That was the perfect way to do it, guys. Level up and then hit him. And now that we've got our level up buffs, we can just go smack these guys. They're also blue cons to us, so they should be no problem. Guys, that was absolute perfection. That's exactly the way I wanted to do it. For once, I actually got something like that to work. It's so rare that you get the level up buff exactly, exactly when you need it. It's nearly impossible to time it. Last body bag. Mission complete and reward merits. Notice, we have 28,000 earned prestige. Our super group has 36 total, so we're about a third of the way there. We're going to need about 100,000. We'll need it to be about 120,000 or so when we place our um, workshop for the salvage racks, because then we're going to need to buy the salvage racks and stuff. We're going to need it to be about 100, maybe 150,000, um, and we're going to need some to pay the rent. But uh, we're pretty close. Uh, you know, it won't be maybe another five levels, and we'll be able to have it set, because we're going to get more and more prestige as we level up. And now we talk to Anne-Marie, and she says, So you actually came face-to-face -face with Dr. Vajalik himself. Few people have done that in Live to Tell the Tale. Well, I know several people who've done it in Live to Tell the Tale, including my tanker and my scrapper. And now the brute, and she had the easiest time, because we leveled up right at the time we did it. It's interesting that he seemed to have the same goal as you, eradicating the deadly plague he had caused. I guess it's possible that Vajalik really does care about the harm he causes. Highly doubt that. I've got a new associate. Introduced a new contact, and that's Tyler French. And now we can talk to Dr. Lila. So we're going to go and do her story arc next. But first, we're going to level up, and we're going to go to Blue Steel, who's our buddy. We, we have leveled up with him many times with Silver Phoenix. And now we're going to go back to him. I think we've done him once here. We leveled up with him once. <laughs> That was fun, guys. I enjoyed that. I'm really glad that I was able to time it so that you could see how it works when you get that elite boss just as you've got the level up buff. And you could see we were at 66% defense at that point, which basically floored him. I think elite bosses have a base to hit of around 70. I think arch villains are 75 bosses. can't remember now. Bosses are 65? I can't remember... But, um, so maybe elite bosses are 70, so we had them floored. Train to a level of power, train up to the next level. What are we going to get here? We get Touch of Fear, we get Taunt, we get Energy Cloak, which is a stealth. We get Power Shield. I think we're going to get Power Shield. Um, because that's our next toggle. And, um, Mercedes wants to talk to us, and so does Field Agent Keith. And this guy, and this guy. So if we take a look at this um, this one gives us 15% strength to fire and cold right now that's a weakness of ours right we have none 15% um, strength to energy so that will buff our energy defense and make it even better than our smashing which makes sense for energy aura and we get some negative energy defense which realistically we definitely should have since we're a negative energy character and we get some defense debuff resistance so we pop that on. And now you can see all those defenses going up. So now we're at about 15 to 20 percent, 15 to 18 percent defense to nearly everything. We've got 20 percent energy resistance. And we have 70 percent energy defense, which is pretty nice protection against energy, right? So we're only going to get hit by a minion about 33 percent of the time. And when it does hit us, it's only going to do 20 percent, 80 percent damage which means it's really only doing about 25% of the damage it would do to somebody who is has no defense and no resistance, sort of. Um, so things are going pretty well. Our whole protection is up to 6.8. I think I'm pretty happy with this character at this point. Do we have anything? That's an accuracy. We could put that in dark consumption. This is stun we don't need. We don't need any of this stuff. So we can sell all the rest of it over here. 
There we go. What are we doing on time? 35. Okay, guys, so I think we're going to stop here. We are 20th level. This is, I guess this is the end of Season 1. And we will begin Season 2 at the level 20 missions, and we'll start doing Dr. Lila and um, all that stuff. And we even have a contact on Talos Island, so we'll be going there soon as well. My, one of my favorite zones in the whole game. But I like King's Row as well. And King's Row's not as pretty. You know, we got the cloudy skies and the dingy stuff. But it's got a lot of character, this zone, and I really like it. And I'm glad we've spent some time in here now, because we really didn't do any missions in King's Row. All right, folks. I hope you've enjoyed. I certainly have. I'm having a blast with this character. We're already 20 out of 50 levels in. I can't believe we're already 20th level. I feel like I've only been playing this character for a day. It's It's been more than that, of course, and I'm being an idiot here. Come on. <laughs> um, until next time, I am Scrapperlock, and this has been City of Heroes on the Rebirth server.